I found the scenes personally that were set in Iraq. I was in some of the places where they were fighting, and they were so vivid that I had a hard time watching them. My wife took my hand because she could feel me sort of shaking. I mean, they were, they were that accurate. But I think what a lot of people will remember when they see the movie is those incredible combat scenes just because they're so visceral. And the end of the movie may get a bit glossed over. There's a very powerful scene in which he's staring at a television and you hear the sounds of what you think is the TV, but the TV is off. That it's, it's showing you that these are the memories he's brought back. And, and again, if you have a man who's this tough but comes back with this same wound, who knows what might have happened to Chris Kyle 20 years from now. If he hadn't had the same tragic death that he had so shortly after he came back, this may have been a man who began to drink. This may have been a man who turned to drugs. This may have been a man who took his own life. I'm not trying to impugn any of that to Chris Kyle, but these are people who come back where that's always at risk. And I think people who see the movie may not catch that part of it, that the danger to Chris Kyle did not stop when he came home. The other issues of making things up that are not true, of exaggerating what was already an amazing historical military service record, these may have continued to burn and continued to cause problems for him, potentially taking him down a very long, long and dark path long after he was home safely.